Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I always ask you guys what looks you guys want to see because I read everything that you guys say because I want to put out content that you actually want to watch and looks that you want to see. So someone commented on one of my photos over on Instagram if I could do a look using the Pantone color of the year, which is Living Coral. So this was the look that I came up with. It's really simple and so quick to do. That is exactly what I want to do today. And I created this monochromatic coral look. Everything from my sweater to my lips and my eyes are coral and it makes me feel so ready for spring and summer. So I'm excited to show you guys how I created this look and if you want to stay around to see how I got it then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Hang In in Hawaii palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Ohana. I'm going in with the E38 Diffuse Crease Brush by Sigma and I'm running the shadow through my crease. This is going to be our transition shade. It's a really really light pink but it's going to add a nice little pink base to the other shadow that I'm going to apply on my crease. I'm now picking up Lay. Now I'm switching over to my Sigma E25 and I'm going to start running this through the crease. The shadow is so pretty. It's the most perfect coral shadow. And now I just picked up a little bit more and first I'm kind of stamping that onto my crease because I want to darken up the crease with the shadow and then I'm going to start blending this out. And now I'm picking up the shadow on the Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush and just tapping this shadow all along my lid. And then I'm just going to lightly blend in the crease to make sure there's no catchiness and everything blends really nicely together. Then going back in with Ohana and that E38, I'm just applying that at the high point of the crease to blend the shadows together and make it really diffused. And now going in with Ohana and that E54 medium sweeper, I'm just running that along my lash line. And then picking up Lay and that same brush and just... First stamping that on to my lower lash line and then blending that out and smoking it out. I'm going into the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions palette. I'm now picking up this foiled coral shadow. I'm picking up the shadow on my finger and I'm going to start applying it all over my lid. So the shadow actually doesn't have that much of an effect. When I swatched it, it looked so much prettier but it is going to add a nice little shimmer. To tight line, I'm going to the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Brood. Now I'm going to line my upper waterline just to add a little bit of darkness to the base of my lashes. To highlight my inner corner, I'm picking up Hula. I'm now going to highlight my inner corner. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going into these Esquito lashes in Day and Night. And that's the eye look done. For my lips, I wanted to do a coral, but I wanted to do something that was a little bit brighter and more vibrant rather than doing like a nude, peachy nude kind of lip. I didn't want to do that. I wanted something nice and bright. So today I'm going to this Pixie Liquid Lipstick in Orange Red. It is so, so pretty. So I'm so excited to try this out. And that's it. This is the completed look of my monochromatic coral makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. This look is making me feel so ready for spring and summer. I cannot wait for all the fun, bright, vibrant looks. I just want summertime to come around. Also, this palette from BH, Hanging in Hawaii. I love the packaging. It's so cute. The inside is so beautiful. These shadows blend so well and they're so pigmented. I realized that I've been using a lot of BH products in my recent tutorials, but the shadows are so pigmented and so blendable and the palettes are so inexpensive, so I can't stop using them. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so if you guys wanna follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box and also list up all the products that I use today along with brushes will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier and I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.